Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. Today we're playing as Tainted Keeper and we're going to go for a swindler only run. This is a little uh, little fella here that will stick with us and grab coins and uh, he will spawn shop items. That could be bombs or could be an actual item. Uh, randomly after completing rooms and we have five of them so we have a higher chance of them giving us stuff. And we can, the more money we give them the cheaper their items will be to purchase. So we need to get ourselves like a baseline of money first and then we can let these guys start fiending and go after the money. Um, but this should, this should be a pretty fun challenge. We're not going to grab items from literally any anywhere else. We're only going to grab swindler items. That's going to be a bit of a challenge here. I've tried, tested this a little bit, and it definitely seems like having at least five of them is the amount that you want to have. Otherwise, the amount of items you get just isn't really comparable to how many you get on a regular run. Uh, but it could also be more. It really depends on your luck. So we'll, we'll see how we go here. But we're already making our way up to... Um, 15 cents, so we're ready for when they want to start spawning stuff. But yeah, they can spawn pretty much anything. I think it is based on the current item pool that you're in, um, to what, what items they spawn. But you can see they'll go and sort of grab stuff, and there's our first one there. But yeah, item room I'm going to skip. Planetarium, if we eventually get one, I will allow myself to grab from. And, like, bre breaking rocks, like, if I get, like, small rock on stuff like that, I'll allow myself to have that. But there's other stuff that I'm going to try and prevent myself from getting. Oh, God. Make sure I stay alive here. Do you want to grab that fella? Oh, there's a single bomb. But you can see it's cheapened there. Oh my god, hello. And we got some stuff already here. Okay, we got the Eternal D1. Spawns an exact copy of one pickup in the room. 33% um, chance to leave all instances of pickups in the room instead. That's potentially interesting. I like the idea behind that. Basically... I can gamble on like a dime spawn, right? Like that, yeah, there you go. You see how I did that there? I used it, there's a 33% chance to disappear it or a chance to duplicate it and I got double nickels. So, uh, double, uh, yeah, it was nickels, wasn't it? Yeah, so nickels and dimes, we wanna be um, looking to double whenever we can. It's a bit risky, 33% chance for them to get deleted, but I think overall it's worth it. I'm trying to get myself up to like 30 coins right now, so I've got enough to buy two items and then I'll let these guys kinda go wild on picking up coins, but obviously, I will try and pick up ones that they're going to miss. As for the question of the day today, what's your favourite um, familiar sprite in Isaac, modded or vanilla? Because I do think the Swindler is a pretty cute fella. I do think the Swindler is a pretty cute fella. Ooh. Okay. Um, doubles our number of bombs. Well, so what we can do is here, we can like drop this on the floor. And ah, I tried to double it. Didn't quite work out. That's the risk we're taking though here. That's the risk we're taking. So at the minute, we're, uh, we're barren. We are itemless, but that's why we got five swindlers, as I said. Unfortunately, the amount of money you give them does not increase their chances of spawning stuff. It is Money is purely just for giving you discounts. Um, but five of them should yield us with a decent amount of stuff. We've just got to wait. Unfortunately, we got a bit of a stinky boss here, but it doesn't matter because the boss item isn't something we're going to be grabbing anyways. I would like most of that, thank you. Right, away we go. Come on, swindlers. You can do this for me. You can give me some beautiful, beautiful items. Ooh, we did get a planetarium. There you go. So we'll allow ourselves a planetarium here. Right, g get in there and start collecting coins, swindler. I know that you're not the fastest, but if you're near an enemy when it dies, you can grab it. You gonna be able to grab that? No. I need to sort of assess what range you're at when I kill things to make sure they can actually grab them. There you go, just about got that one there. Here's our planetarium, lovely. Luckily, they kind of lumber about a little bit, so they're pretty slow and can get to the uh, coins if they're near an enemy. And you're going to spawn as multidimensional baby, thank you. And what will we get in here? My goodness, you're evil. <laughs> Why Mars? Why Mars? Also, why are you getting the pickups in such a weird order? Yeah, I'll just skip out on Mars, thank you. It isn't worth the money. I don't want it. And I won't use it. It's an item I wish I could love, but unfortunately I just cannot. Oop, and we got the meat cleaver there, and you can see that's one cent there. That's a really, really cheap meat cleaver, but unfortunately, we actually have an actually have an active right now I'm pretty into. So I'm not that down with that as an item to grab. Right, make sure these guys are over the gap first so we can actually grab their money. Good, good. Oh, my swindler stole a few there. It's fine, it's fine. 
Thank you for the key. That's the thing as well. We could get some nice consumables out of these guys if we need them. Right, we're on 32 now. We can leave these guys to take the money when they can actually reach it. You can reach that, can't you? There you go, baby. There you go. Same with that, can't you? Oh, dude, you got to be faster than that. you got to be faster than that. Only thing about the swindlers is they can spawn um, shop items in like places that you can't actually avoid purchasing them, which is a little annoying. Oh my god, dude. Nope, mine. You need to be faster, Swindler. You need to be faster. Ooh, golden. The golden fella is here. The golden child. So, okay, we can deal with the golden boy. I could get golden plum flute, but I don't think I need it. It would be kind of nice to get the extra money and stuff from it, but... Ah! Oh my god, I got hit there. That was stupid. Right. Unfortunately, <laughs> we are a few floors in. You can see how the luck is not in our favor and why I'm calling this a challenge run. Because, yeah, we have not gained really anything so far. Dude, these things are too fast for me right now. Spawn more items, boys. That's a battery that I can't avoid. avoid. God damn it. Luckily, I can just make sure I have a full charge so I can't purchase it and that'll work. Right, Swindler. Get on this. Dude, Swindler, you're so useless. Oh, I... you made me buy a key. A key spawned right after the room finished and you still made me buy one. What is this? Yeah, I gotta say, if they, if they split up and, like, uniquely went for a different coin, it wouldn't be so bad. Because they all go for one coin, it means they're all in the same place all the time. Which means they're not always that efficient at actually grabbing the coins. Which isn't really ideal. Let you have it. There you go. You can have that one as well. Ooh! Harlequin, baby. It's... It's something. <laughs> it's not good, but it's something. We, we're, we're on our way to conjoined, at least. We're on our way to conjoined. I guess that's something. We've got our boss here. There's another key. Up to 29 again. Yeah, I thought this challenge was going to be... I, I wouldn't I, mean, I wouldn't say I thought it was going to be easy. But, like, I, fe I feel like most of the time when I get the swindler, he's spawning items like crazy. So I was like, oh, five swindlers. That'll spawn a good amount of items. Like three or four per floor. So far, we might be getting just really unlucky, I guess. I did some testing with this as well, and it felt fine. Oh, beautiful. We got the dime. Oh, and there you go. That's that's our first really, really good thing here. And what we get here? Held trinkets will automatically be consumed at the cost of five coins. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait. It had a, it had a golden effect there. Um, multipliers will each reduce the cost. Okay, nice. So we can now smelt trinkets for, for, for money, which is kind of good. But yeah, that's our first really good item there. Piercing is, uh, of course, very, very nice for us. Gonna help us a lot. Multidimensional baby's decent, but he's just kind of hard to actually effectively utilize, in my opinion. Find him a little difficult. I, I do like our little piggy nose we got on right now, though. That is, uh, I think we're styling. There's another item, D2. We're getting some, we're getting a decent amount of items now. Just unfortunately, we are getting a good few um, active items, which we really want to avoid. Ooh, that's really nice too. I'll take that. Thank you. A little bit of a damage down, but the speed up is huge. And the uh, fire rate up is pretty massive too. I think skinny odd is something that some people really overlook as a good item. I think it's very good. And you're spawning just a card. That's okay, friend. Oh my god, these enemies are bouncing around like crazy. I just wanted to kill them within the swindler's range. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm gonna say, you better get that nickel there. Uh, chances teleports to Devil Deal when taking damage? Mm, that doesn't really help us. We're not gonna be taking Devil Deals. That's a really good uh, trinket, though. But it's one that I do not want to be smelting. Thank you very much. Alright, there you go. 
Grab a few of those. What you got for us? A bomb? No, that's not an item. I like the way they hold up their little sign when they're ready to they're ready to put something up for sale. It's funny. <laughs> they're, they're getting like overwhelmed with choice with the coins to pick up. It's funny. I will take that. Thank you. To smelt it down. Lovely. Yeah, I guess I do need a bit of money myself at the minute. Oh, there you go. I think Piggy Bank is uh, a pretty darn good choice for us, I've got to say. Piggy Bank will potentially save our life, so I'll take it. And yeah, I'm liking this Eternal D1 as well. It seems like we're going to get some particularly good use out of that on occasion. Not always, but on occasion. Right, boss time, let's go. We're not the strongest right now. We don't have any damage ups, really. But the piercing here is going to help us out immensely. And multidimensional baby, too, is uh, a particular favorite here. Right, these, these pennies are mine. Don't you dare. Okay, he did spawn an item, but luckily it was one cent. I was like, don't you dare spawn a 15 cent item when I can't afford it. Luckily, he spawned a one cent item. But unfortunately, it was depression, which is emblematic of my uh, feelings about the item. I'm liking this. This is more of a challenge than I thought it would be, and I'm liking that. Because basically, I've, I'm in a weird spot with it at the minute. With uh, Because basically, people have said, that, oh, I'm... I'm I, like I, I, do, I prefer it when you do regular runs and not not like runs where you're overpowered and spawn stuff in And so I've been trying to do more of those and guess what people they do really 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 like awful views wise compared to when, when I when I do the videos where I like, just spawn stuff in and give myself an overpowered run those videos do way way better than the ones where uh, Where I just play a regular run so it's it's very uh, I don't know M maybe it's just like the vocal minority I'm seeing in my comments saying they want um, more regular runs. I don't know what it is, but still, um, it's not it's not ideal because it makes it hard to figure out what people want. Um, but either way, this is like a good balance because it is an item with a spawn, uh, a run with a spawning stuff in. But it by certainly uh, no means is overpowered at the moment. I wouldn't say golden razor, and it gives us five coins on pickup, so we might as well at least pick it up. Um, I don't think that's something we're going to be able to use, though, unfortunately. Give me that. Reverse of the tower. Wow. <laughs> Damn. They're really spawning some crud right now. We we've actually only had, like, one good item so far. Skinny Odd is debatable. Skinny Odd, I do actually really enjoy, but I wouldn't say it's an amazing item for this run. It is, it is a very good item in general, but I think without any other damage ups, it, it's, it's a little weak. Alright, just let these guys take their earnings. What you got for us? Oh, there you go, baby. There you go. <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for. Honestly, piercing almond milk. Got nothing wrong with that. We're probably a bit weaker than we were before, but the run is now more fun, so... Why the hell not? Yeah, having piercing on almond milk makes it a lot more plausible. Oh, excuse me. Oh, he spawned me a freezer baby as well. Is that conjoined? That it is, baby. Oh, man. That damage down there from Conjoined. Dude, the fire rate down and damage down there were, like, absolutely insane. <laughs> like, that, that is definitely not a good deal for us. We lost so much there. Damn, this, uh, we really need some new stuff, because, yeah, Conjoined has kind of wrecked us there. Conjoined, I, I generally don't mind taking. I think it's normally pretty good, but that was a huge fire rate loss. I do not want Samson's chain, thank you. That was a huge fire rate loss. Damage loss is pretty bad because that was 25% of our damage, which is kind of huge. But that was also like 25% of our fire rate as well, which is nuts. The good thing is the extra tiers are actually doing something. Um, Remembrance I also don't think is very good for us right now. But at least at the minute we're getting a lot more items. So the potential, the potential is there. Why didn't those one, I, I, uh, enemies give me money? Yeah, the potential is there at the minute. What are you guys doing?
We just gotta spawn even more stuff. Dude, this is so frustrating. I can't kill stuff. Another golden trinket. Um, taking damage uh, has a 75% or 100% chance of leaving a pool of strong petrifying creep. Thank you. We'll suck that down. I'm gonna bomb both of you. Okay. Right, my little fellas, my little army, please. There's, there's, there's like a few things. Tier, tier effects right now are what we desperately need. If we can get some tier effects in the mix, I think that would make a big difference. Because that means we could proc stuff a lot more often. Freezer Baby's doing a good thing, though. Oh, dude, there's, like, constant creep on the floor. I didn't realize. <laughs> I'm, like, constantly taking damage and wondering why. I'll take some, and then you guys can have the rest. There you go. Feast, my children. Feast. You pick up the coins in a very odd order. I don't know why they do that. It's weird. Yeah, dude, Freezer Baby is, like, going nuts. He's freezing, like, literally everything. Uh, Yuckart, dude, you've got to do better than, than Yuckart. You've got to do better than that. Um, That's pretty good. I'll take that. Still, though, the damage... The damage is what we need. We are missing le damage. Anything to give me at the end of this room? Nope. Dude, we are we are pretty deep into this run and we do not have a lot to work with, so... <laughs> they've really got to pick up the pace in these last few floors here before uh, the womb, because the womb is going to be really, a really a rough time if we don't get some stuff going on right now, because we have, like, two items helping us out here. Dude, they just took my piggy bank money. I, I really needed that to stay alive. We lost our flight. We did do a lot of damage, though, which is nice. I like the petrifying creep we got going on as well. That's, that's pretty nice from our trinket. The tick, I mean, that. Well, that's actually not bad, because that'll get gulped down. There you go. Does cost us a bit of money, but I actually think this trinket, the, the little nurse one, is really, really good. Lovely. Oh, interesting. Not much to see there, I guess. Right, come on. Come on, Swindlers. You can do it. This 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 run's getting a bit uh bit touchy here. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Okay. I was saying about tier effects and you gave me one, and not only that, you gave me a tier effect that's gonna be pretty darn good for bosses especially. I'm happy. I'm happy enough. This is good. Ooh, B-Skin as well is an interesting one. It's a lot more tears on screen. Oh, wow, they opened that. Okay. Um, both pretty meh, but I guess I'll take them. Yeah, B-Skin has uh, slowed the frame rate down just a little bit here. Luckily, lossless scaling is helping us out. <laughs> for that penny. Oh, Explosivo is doing a good job here. Oh, you didn't die? Okay. Hey, the petrifying creep stuff is amazing too. Anything? A blue pill! Oh my god, it's what I've always wanted. Just kidding, that's awful. Oh, now I'm used to having flight and I don't have it. I lost it. Yeah, like, Explosivo is doing big damage here. What on earth? Oh, that's your listen. I'll take your listen. It's a plus one look as well, which is rather nice. <laughs> look at all the Explosivo shops, like, glitching the hell out. Ooh, tier, uh, slow and creep. Yes, please. 
Oh, that gave us a big fire rare boost as well. Lovely. That's a lot of slowing creep. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a lot of slowing creep. Oh my lord. You just... The lag is going to be insane. But you just broke this run wide open. My goodness. Especially considering we've got piercing as well. That's that's kind of nuts. Piercing Explosiva with Texas. I mean, the frame rate is uh, just abysmal now. I might remove B-Skin, you know, because... It's, I think with B-Skin, it's getting a, a little, I don't know, I, I want to, but also at the same time, this is kind of hilarious. We'll see how playable it is. You spawned me old bib, which I don't care for. Down we go. Interesting run. <laughs> I said they had to pull something out of the bag, and they, uh, they cooked. They did cook. Hey fella, you want to lift your little head up, lift your little noggin? Thank you. Sprinkler, oh boy. What the hell's this? Shoots a colorful bouncy tear to the nearest enemy, shoots only when you press the fire button. Sounds cute. Sprinkler's definitely, I, I might take that. Need more money for myself at the minute. Common cold, yes please. I'm thinking about the sprinkler. I don't know yet. Library, I will allow myself to grab a, a book if there's a good one in there. The boxing glove, eh? Boxing glove isn't great for us. We're not staying, staying super close to enemies. Ooh, yes please. I'll be taking this. Yes, that's a huge damage bonus that'll build over the course of the floor. Resets at the end of every floor, but... That's going to be pretty nice. We'll certainly take that. Now we've got to rebuild our money again before these guys start spawning more. But they've they've done well on the last few floors. We struggled there for a little bit, but then they, uh, they pulled out the big guns. What you got for us now, little fella? Furton. I, I'm very curious to see how Furton would work with this. It might break everything, but I'm willing to, like, pick it up and give it a C. It might be something that we have to remove, though. But I'm willing to try it. It still works because of B-Skin, so I think it's good to stay. I think it's good to stay. Second secret room here as well. Headless baby. Don't really think we need that, thank you. Thank you for opening that chest for me. Wasn't necessary, but thank you. Yeah, headless baby, I don't think I'm really that in tune with. And bag of I will take bag of bobbies, though. I will take bag of bobbies. Hello. Okay, we finally got enough to be able to actually beat Mum and stuff, I think. <laughs> this has gotten pretty wild pretty fast here. What'd you spawn for us there? Ooh, that's a good... That's a good item. Oh, I per it, you goddamn stupid fool. I per the Polaroid and stuff as well. Okay. Well then, I I'm gonna have to just give myself the Polaroid, aren't I? Um, give... Polaroid? Yeah. Cool. Okay, we got the Polaroid. And I think we'll just go to the next floor. Thank you. <laughs> that was kind of stupid. I was like, oh, that item's good for us. Oh, it's gone. Hello, card pack. Oh, 
I will grab this and see if I can use it in a good room. Ah, I missed out on a nickel there. Right, okay. Need to rebuild our money once again. It's a good start. Yeah, we get the best of both worlds right now with Furton and B-Skin. Doing our Tech Zero stuff. Oh, hello. I need you to go. Luckily, we have a solution for life. Pretty effective solution. Yeah, fire a few shots and then just let Explosivo do the rest. And we got Spelunker's Hat. I actually really like Spelunker's Hat as an item, so yes, I'll take that. Just being able to see one room ahead allows you to avoid dead ends. Which, as, the, as this character, to be fair, isn't super important because we do want to be doing most rooms. Ooh, there you go. That's a damage up there. Lovely. Another one? Ah, oh, that's just a bomb. You can't come at me with a bomb and think you're all that. A book. What do I look like? Someone that reads? Another library here. I guess I'll take it just for bookworm. Actually, no, I won't when it costs us 15. No, thank you. Yeah, I was going to buy, buy that book as well, but like, if both of them cost me 15, no, thank you. What you got for us here? Devil's Umbra. Oh, that could be even more tears. If we wanted even more tears, Devil's Umbra would, uh, would allow us to get more. Yeah, I don't really think we need more. Yeah, these extra rooms around here will do. Oh, really? I pushed my uh, my bomb away by accident. We've not really had many unique coins this run, though, have we? No, like, luck pennies have been found and stuff. Bit unfortunate. Hello? Uh, we don't really need that. Thank you for giving us the option, though, but not really necessary. King of Diamonds here, why not? I wanted to do it on a room with more uh, Fool's Gold rocks, but there was a lot of enemies there, so I thought it was worth it. Right, we got a good amount of money now. Let's do these last few rooms just to see if we get any more purchases. And then we'll go. It's looking like maybe not. Ooh, the dime, baby. You gotta grab the dime. Nope, didn't want to didn't want to spawn anything there. Second secret rooms having some weird troubles right now. We had second secret room there. Oh, the room wasn't even over. God damn it. I'm foolish. I thought it was done. I think I didn't kill these little dudes, did I? There you go. They did now. I think. Is this still not over? How? There you go, finally. Oh, you do have something for me. Hello. Sumptorium. I don't think I want that, to be honest. You have, to be fair to them, they've spawned me a lot of stuff. To be unfair to them, they've spawned a lot of trash. <laughs> but, considering we have a pretty good run going on right now, I'm not going to be too harsh on them. Slurp that down. Yeah, I'm not going to be too harsh on them, considering we've got a pretty good run here. Right, we good? We're good. Oh, hello. Potty? No, thank you. That's not... Not what we want. Oh my god, the damage we can output is insane. <laughs> we don't even need Explosivo. We don't even need it, baby. It's just there as a backup, but it don't really matter. Right, start spawning us more stuff, fellas. 
The secret rooms have been a major point of disappointment at the moment. Ooh, there is a there is a crane game here. A. No, do you know what? Actually, thinking about it, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the crane game item. I said I was only gonna take items from these guys. I'm gonna stick to my guns with that. Bumbo would be funny. A lot of nothing there. No extra spawns. While I have flight, I should go and open these up. I did get a golden penny finally. Don't take it. There you go. Beautiful. Right, now I can let you take everything because I've got enough, pretty much. You're pretty bad at taking everything though. Ooh, he has things for me. Um, iron bar, thank you. And we also got premature detonation as well. Both very, very cheap. It's good stuff. Swindler can give you a very good run sometimes. Right, straight towards the boss this time, I think. Ooh, sulfuric acid is good. We're gonna be destroying rocks like crazy. Not a single rock can survive. Second secret room real quick. Belly button. Um, it spawns a trinket, so I'm going to buy it, even though it's not really worth it. Just, I'm just going to eat my words right there, because it gave me Cave Torn. And Cube Baby, yeah, you've got, I mean, Cube Baby's just an absolute G. He's not very useful, but, like, you've got to take him just because it's Cube Baby, right? I feel like it's, it's the correct thing to do. To not take him would be blasphemous. Yeah, we have, we have reached a, a, a pretty decent level on this run, I would say. Is that Tick 2? Electric Boogaloo? <laughs> Will that reduce their damage by 30% now? I don't know. They did spawn an item in that room just there, but I didn't see what it was. The Funnel. Sets your speed, range, and shot speed to the base stats. If they're higher than base, redistribute the stats into tiers and damage. Oh, damn. That's a cool item. Yes, I'll be taking that. Thank you. Let me just get enough money to buy that, and I'll be, uh... I'll be right on my way. Because that sounds pretty darn good. Hey, here's our first look up. Been waiting on that for a while. Hey, small rock, I'm allowed to take that. Right, cool, we got it all. You guys spawning anything in this room? That you are. Number two. Number two is pretty good, but I think this funnel item. This funnel item seems pretty interesting to me. Yeah, there you go. So I got a decent amount of fire air and some damage as well. Little delirium. Oh my god. Thank god we have lost the scaling, otherwise this would be unplayable. Still, it's, I'm definitely feeling the slow-mo is still a little hard at times, but it would be completely unplayable otherwise. Good, good enough to buy an item now. We don't care about walls. Oh, you've got some things for me. Hello, hello. What, what's this? Ah, oh, really? Come on now. You had me all excited for a minute. And converts one heart container to six pickups. No, thank you. Doesn't seem like a great deal. What we actually got going on in here? 
There's no items in here. God, I'm out of here. There's a trinket, but I don't particularly care for that. I do think I am taking off 30% of their health to start with, with the two uh, ticks, by the way. Lovely. What you got for us this time? Pile of bones. Also not great. God, our bag of bobbies is getting uh, quite bobby. There is quite the quite the numerous amount of bobbies. Don't know why I'm opening these. I can't take any of them. Fruitcake. No, I love you. What a sad item to miss out on. Dude, the amount of electricity right now is unprecedented. Tech Zero has carried this run so hard. I think it'd still be pretty good without it, but it has carried this run. Let's not die here, because I'm pretty close to death. Now that was, was a, a very near miss. Is there something still alive in here? What? Oh, uh, these guys. Where the hell did you come from? What you got for us, little fella? Oh, you're supposed to impress me. I asked them to impress. So far, they do not impress. Any items in here? Max's head. Now that is pretty good stuff. Yes, that's a lot of damage. Oh, we got giant cell in there too. I think there's another item in there that I missed. Yeah, yeah. Just, just fly through the electricity. I'm sure that won't go wrong. Make me buy a key so I can leave the goddamn room. How dare you! Right, it's boss time. Ooh, honestly. Such high damage on him right off the bat there. Oh, there's money there. I need it. Oh, you took my money. I needed that so badly. I could so easily die here. Yeah, this attack, the, the dashing one, scares me pretty heavily right now when the uh, game is running at such low frame rate. Yeah, there you go. Unfortunate death at the end there, but that was a really fun run all the way to the boss. Um, pretty interesting one with Swindlers. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.